All right. Well, we have to get to our next guest. He's an entrepreneur. We've spoken to him once before on the show. Uh, I believe he owns a, uh, a series of chain restaurants by the name of Culver's. A series of chain restaurants? <laughs> a series of restaurants that belong to one chain. How is that? Well, I like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> by the name of Culver's, please welcome Don Darling to the stage. Hi, Don. How are you doing? How's it going? It's going well. How are you? Hey, great. Uh, all these W's around here for Wisconsin, my home state. <laughs> That's where I'm from. Yeah, no, I, I get it. <laughs> That's where I live and reside. Yeah, I know. Yeah, no, I realize that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's where your, your uh, uh, home address is. But, yeah, that's right. And my empire of Culver's restaurants in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. Right, yes. We, now, for those of you who haven't heard uh, Don's episode, you have an army, not an army, you have a... Uh, <laughs> lot. A series... You try to talk this much and see how it comes out. Yeah, I guess you're right. <laughs> I'm sorry. But you now own a lot of restaurants. What's that? I was going to say, now beg. <laughs> Who, to you? You beg to him for forgiveness. No. He said he's sorry. <laughs> I'm not going to beg him. Please. You just want to see people on their knees. Yeah. I hear that. I'm a sugar daddy. <laughs> Yeah, Don is a sugar daddy. You have how, how many women are you sponsoring? Well, uh, right now, none. Uh, the most recent, once again, left to pursue a nursing degree uh, at one of the state colleges in Wisconsin, uh, which I was fine with because she's about to turn 24, which, as you know, is my cutoff. Right, when, once women turn 24, you no longer want to be their sugar daddy. Hashtag gross. Are you looking up a lot of things on Twitter with the hashtag of gross? <laughs> yep. Hashtag gross. Hashtag sunrise. Um, hashtag beef. Hashtag butter. You ever do hashtag big chunky bubbles? <laughs> I try to keep it to just one word after the hashtag. Big chunky bubbles is, uh, that's, quite, that's quite a mouthful. Big Chunky Bubbles sounds like something that we'd have as a special at one of my Culver's restaurants. Now, did you know that Culver's is the home of the Butter Burger? The, the Butter Burger. The Butter Burger. It's a regular beef patty cooked in all butter for you to tempt fate with. Yeah. Is that how it's advertised? As something that may or may not kill you when you have it? No, that's just me at my personal franchise, of which I own three. Right. You own three restaurants. I own three Culver's three restaurants. Three Culver's in restaurants. <laughs> three. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three, Sesame Street. That's where you're from. You know where my brother is. What'd you do to my brother, you murderer? Um, I haven't killed anyone, but uh, if he's dead, I'll use his flesh for butter burgers. <laughs> <laughs> that's, I don't... Well, that's I don't, a fair <laughs> offer. <laughs> <laughs> this guy seems very reasonable. Okay. I'm not great at relating to children. I, I, I mainly stick to women ages 18 to 24. Yeah. yeah that, uh, how do you find these women when they turn 18? Well, a lot of them contact me through my website, dandarling.weebly.com, <laughs> forward slash sugar daddy. You can't just go to the dot .com and then click on a link of the sugar daddy at the top of the page. You have to go to the... That'll go to a page 404. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got to put in the forward slash to get to me. Right. Because it's a Weebly page. Right. Um, what? What's Weebly? Uh, Weebly is, uh, is a way to build a website. Um, it's a Weebly. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't clear anything up. Uh, well, all right, my apologies. Uh, uh, 
I don't know how to explain it another way. <laughs> It's a Weebly page. It's a website building tool. I, yeah. We're Squarespace people here, so. Build it beautiful. <laughs> no, they don't have a slogan anymore. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you're born with it. Squarespace. Maybe you're born with a website? Yeah. What if everyone got a domain name when they were born? They probably do now. Yeah. Probably. I had to go out and get my own in my hunt for the perfect sugar baby. (laughs) Now, I tend to find a lot of codependent ladies that are pursuing a degree in nursing at some point in time. you, You date exclusively nurses? Well, that's, that's uh, you know, every time the coin is flipped, that's the side it lands on. Now, me personally, I always target women that remind me of my mother or sisters. I like and it. That's, <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, it's not a perversion. It's just, it's what I know, you know. It's what you're attracted to. Who knows what you're attracted to? Maybe you showered with your mother when you were three years old. And you were like, that's the feminine ideal. And, the, you know? Yeah, who didn't? Yeah, where'd you come up with that idea? Seems like a very specific example. <laughs> who knows why we think any of these things? Seems like you have a specific reason why you think that. No one else here thought of that at all. I'm just saying, you know, the mind, human sexuality, it plays tr- funny tricks on us. Absolutely, absolutely. That's why I, I finally uh, became honest with myself about wanting to be a sugar daddy and provide for someone in a relationship that had limited, limited emotional attachment. Right. You don't like to get too close to these women. I really don't. Um, <laughs> sorry, let me rephrase that. I really don't, period. <laughs> Uh, you know, I'm 47 years old. I'm not looking to get married. I'm certainly not looking to get kids. You think it's the end of the line for you? I do. I do. I've thought a lot of people come to me and they say, Don, what are you going to do if you pass away? Don't you want to have an heir so that you can give these Culver's restaurants to somebody? And I say, no. The day I die, they burn to the ground. <laughs> Is that in your in will? <laughs> That's in my will. I've got a pacemaker in right now, and as soon as it stops, it, it sets off an ignition switch in all three restaurants. It's like a speed situation? Yeah. Will yep. it alert the customers? <laughs> or the employees? There's a 10-second countdown. It's 10 seconds! <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and Closer to Free by the Bodine starts playing. <laughs> And then it all goes up in flames, baby. You know is the Bodine? Is it 10 seconds from the beginning of the Bodine song? Yeah, Closer to Free, the iconic riff. Go ahead and sing a little bit of it. Everybody one, everybody two, everybody three. three. And then the fire starts. (laughs) By the time it hits three, because that's ten seconds of the song? Pretty much. I was probably speeding up the song. Right, yeah. So, uh... So, so these women, they're, they're all nurses because that, I mean, it's an expensive school to go to, I would imagine. So That's they, how it's played out. I haven't targeted nurses. I, right. And I'm not, I'm not a, you know, I'm not some aggressive guy out there. I just put it out there. If you want to get paid in Culver's gift cards <laughs> in exchange for limited romantic contact, I'm your guy. When you say limited romantic contact, what do you make these women do? Well, you know, the first time that I was on the podcast, I explained the the baseball system, right? I did the baseball analogy. Go go through it again here for the people. First base is a $10 Culver's gift card. I I guess what I'm wondering is what does first base mean to you? (laughs) Not not what you pay them for, but... Uh, Is it the traditional first base that we're talking? Except uh, I like to throw in a lot of eye contact while kissing. Okay. I hate to close my eyes when I'm aroused. Why'd you look at me? <laughs> Honestly, I was trying to look at big chunky bubbles. You just got in the way. Why were you looking at me? 
hey, stranger. Do you know each other? <laughs> it feels like you only say that when you know someone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't say, hey, stranger, to an actual stranger. <laughs> Hey, stranger. <laughs> what well, if I you know. went around saying that to every single person you didn't know? <laughs> I mean, I know Scott, and I'm not going to call a child stranger. But uh, I will call that gentleman down there stranger. Why don't you call me Big Chunky Bubbles? That's my name. I don't feel like I know you well enough to call you Big Chunky Bubbles. It's a strange name. Anyone can call me that. Why All right. I call you your real name, Petey Amin. Makes people sad when they remember Idi Amin, the terrible dictator. As portrayed by Forrest Whitaker in the Oscar-winning film, The Last King of Scotland. In one of my Culver's locations, The Last King of Scotland is constantly playing on the television. <laughs> Why? It makes people hungry. Wait, is this another birthday cake situation? Just because they're eating doesn't mean that it's making them hungry. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't connected those dots. Oh, dots, that made me hungry for that candy that comes on paper. <laughs> yeah, Maybe. it's so filling. It's delicious. I like the paper part. I eat the paper, too. I roll it in a ball and eat the whole thing at once. Crunch, crunch, crunch. I heat it up in the microwave till it's just a big mess. <laughs> so, Don, why, why did you come here? <laughs> Well, I, I, came to, I came to put the word out that if anyone wants to move to Sheboygan, Wisconsin and be my next sugar baby, then it's, I'm open for business, you know? Whoa! How are you above the age of 25, ma'am? Oh! Wow! Wow! Realized your mistake or right in the middle of it. I mean, the best way to check someone to see if they're lying is to just ask them again, I guess. <laughs> well, sorry, miss, um, but uh, 24 is the cutoff, all right? I'm not in the business of, um, I don't know. Actually, 24 is just arbitrary. I, whatever. Really? You would go above 25 then? Well, if someone could convince me that the number 25 was the number 24, yeah, I would go there. <laughs> But that's why I came on. I came out to throw it again. Once again, my sugar baby has left me for a nursing program in the greater Wisconsin area. Mm. And I'm on the prowl again, except I'm not really prowling. My back hurts, and uh, I tore my hamstrings getting in and out of my Escalade. I tore the left one getting out. I tore the right one getting back in. But luckily, one of the culvers that I'm on is at the top of the hill, and I live at the bottom. So I just put it in drive and rolled. And then I got down and I, I pressed the brake with my hand. And then I reached up and I put it in park. And I crawled into my house. <laughs> You've been there. It's the same thing as when you said, uh, you know, that thing about being three years old and looking at your naked <laughs> no, mind. No, that was hypothetical. <laughs> So that's what I'm looking at, and, and you know, ideally you're under 24 years old, and if you want to look like my mom or sisters, that's great. You should have a bob, and in the back it should be spiky hair. <laughs> they all have the same haircut? Mom in the front, um, Lincoln Park, Limp Biscuit in the back. <laughs> that turns me on, I don't want to leave Wisconsin. I came here as a favor. <laughs> to whom? Uh, I guess my travel agent. Is it, does he own a, a travel agency called Travel Agent C? Yeah. <laughs> travel Agent, comma, C? Yeah. I know that guy. <laughs> he wanted to get me more Marriott points. <laughs> yeah. And his parents go and they hurry you along? Is that, yeah. Okay, yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, what are you talking about? <laughs> Never mind. So, uh, uh, what qualities do you want other than just physical in a woman? 
Well, physical is definitely number one on the list. And there have been times on my, in my life where there's only one thing on the list. But I'm an older man, so I like companionship. Sure. So number two is probably knowing the entire catalog of Violent Femmes. <laughs> the Milwaukee band Violent Femmes. Iconic Wisconsin Milwaukee band. Uh, number two is, you know, be able to eat two butter burgers in front of me without burping or flinching. <laughs> flinching? Like you're going to hit her? Huh? <laughs> Like, are, what do you do? Are you, like, holding your fist up the entire time? What? Jeez, you got a pretty negative opinion of me. Well, why I, would she flinch? It's like, what, what's making her flinch when she's eating a burger besides someone slapping her? <laughs> well, the butter coursing through her system, of course. Oh, I think I get it. Big Chunky Bubbles, have you ever thought of using uh, hot butter in your act? I tried it briefly. But it was too hot. <laughs> so you have your standards. More trouble than it's worth. Also, have you seen the price of butter? I guess that's something I don't pay attention to. Oh, must be nice. <laughs> if you can accurately tell me the price of butter... Right now, I'll give you $10. Where I'm from? Yeah. <laughs> Butter's $8 a pound. I don't believe you. <laughs> well, you're welcome to come with me to where I live and go to the grocery store, walk down the dairy aisle with me and see for yourself. Where do you live again? Oh, um, you know... <laughs> Well, I don't know, you know, uh, 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 you know, Murphy here, maybe you aspire to be, uh, when you grow up, maybe you aspire to be... <laughs> a sugar baby? I don't know. How can someone train themselves to be a sugar baby? Yeah, how do I train myself to be an aspiring nurse who wants you to pay for my school? <laughs> Honey, just run out of luck. <laughs> Well, I feel like I'm already well on my way there. No, no, no. Life takes lots of twists and turns, all right? I'm not advocating this arrangement for anybody in particular. I'm just saying that my point in life, you know, I'm not looking for a spouse. I'm not looking for a girlfriend. I'm looking for someone to come over a couple times a week, watch Columbo with me, put me to bed fully clothed, and leave on her own volition. You want her to put you to bed fully clothed? Is she dressing you and putting more clothes on you? Yeah, by the time I finish a full day's work at one of my culvers, I am next to naked. What? Wait. Why? You work at your culvers, first of all? I, yeah, I wake up at 7 a.m. I, uh, I open my first culvers on uh, Washington Street. I go to the next one. Near Washington Street? Washington Street. Is that a clue? <laughs> From a previous mystery. <laughs> uh, I don't think that your dead brother... Your brother's dead? We don't know that. That's the thing. I don't think he is. He thinks he's dead, too. See? Wait, why does everyone think that? I'm just repeating what people are saying. <laughs> I think he's dead, though. It sounds like he's dead. Why? Just because he scaled a tree like he was in a Twilight movie? He did? Yeah. <laughs> he's definitely dead. Okay, now I don't know if there's enough evidence for this. If I did that, I'd be dead in a heartbeat. A butter-soaked heartbeat. Provided by your pacemaker? Yeah, my pacemaker. Jeez. Every once in a while, I've got to take it out and wash the butter off it. What? That's a, but that's a pacemaker joke. I can't take it out. Goes over well with the pacemaker crowd. I get one or two laughs before they have to calm themselves down. So then you, you open up your first one on Washington Street. That's yep. at 7 a.m. Do at you 7 have staggered opening times for all of your restaurants? Yeah, I don't trust anyone to manage the restaurants. Uh, so I stagger the opening time. 7 a.m., that gets a pretty good rush. My employees come in. 7.30 a.m. for store number two. 8 a.m. for store number three. And then I close them. 10 p.m. for store number one. 10.30 p.m. for store number two, 11 p.m. for store number three. And by that time, I am completely naked. <laughs> this is what I'm not getting. What? 
are you playing strip restaurateur? What is happening? I, I don't know how you guys close doors, but I always close them with an item of clothing in it and then walk away and it rips off my body. Every time? Every time. Like a cartoon? <laughs> yeah, every single time. Usually it's pants first, and then I waddle over to store number two, pantsless. Pants first! Uh-huh. Then it's, uh, then it's blazer second, that rips off. And then at the third store, it's usually my shirt. And there I am, in nothing but the jackstrap. <laughs> Why are you wearing a jockstrap? Well, I like the front to be covered, but the back to be free-flowing. <laughs> I don't know why, that's gross. I think it was the phrase free-flowing. <laughs> if you ate three Culver's meals a day, you'd understand that free-flowing is a great thing. <laughs> Custard tends to stop the pipes, if you know what I mean. And I'm talking about when you pour the rest of the custard of the day into the toilets because it'll go bad overnight. Right. Yeah, no, I got what you meant. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, thank God. <laughs> well, I, I wish you well. I mean... Uh... Thanks. Do I, you want me to leave? <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe there's someone out here who would like to be his new... I mean, we obviously not you, ma'am, but nope. Sorry. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, a guy pointing at his girlfriend. Cool. <laughs> They're not together. You're not together. Uh-oh, better uh, put the kiss cam on them to be sure. Kiss, 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 kiss. Now they're just knocking heads. They just slammed their heads weirdos. together. That looks like it hurts. I don't know if they're human. They might be aliens. Well, you can go to my Weebly page and submit a request. Uh, there's... There's just a little question there that you fill out uh, for me to screen you to make sure that you're not six or seven guys waiting to beat me up in Sheboygan Park. What are these questions? Can you go through them here? Are you a woman? Uh, are you less than 24 years old? Do you want to be my sugar baby? What's up? Which one tells you that they're not six or seven guys? Is it what's up? Yeah, because that's the essay question. And usually they reveal themselves to be... <laughs> uh, usually six or seven guys can get through the first three questions, no problem. But then what's up? It's like, I'm a sugar baby. Uh, wouldn't it be fun if I kicked your ass with my friends in a park? <laughs> and then I'm like, wait a minute. This isn't a woman named Abigail. This is six or seven guys. <laughs> Do you also include a CAPTCHA? <laughs> to make sure there's no robots answering your questionnaire? That's right. Unfortunately, it's the same one. It's always one, two, three, four, five. If you type that in, then it proves that you're not a bot. A bot. I learned that recently. A bot. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Bat, B O T, bat. Okay. A bat. An internet bat. A right. spam bot. What's that? A spam bot. A spam bot. Something subversive sent to us from one of the three Matrix movies. <laughs> to ruin our society and ensure that we someday turn into the Matrix movies. You learned this the other day. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> It's in the director's commentary, The Matrix 2. A lot of people think that's the worst one of the trilogy. I agree. <laughs> I don't know how we got into film criticism here. Well, I got a few things to say. All right, let's hear. <laughs> what do you got? How come in the Willy Wonka movies... Willy Wonka got so mad at kids chewing gum. <laughs> I have a question too. Sure. Are you going to answer his? <laughs> oh, I didn't know. I thought it was rhetorical. Do you know what that means? Yeah. 
Was I supposed to answer that? <laughs> no, I wasn't either. Oh, okay. It was rhetorical. Thank you. Um, and look who's talking. Um, do you think, like, the, the parents of the kids who were in Look Who's Talking ever said, look who's talking when they started talking? <laughs> like the parents of the child baby actors? When they finally learned to talk? When they finally learned to talk. Do you think everyone said, look who's talking? About the child actors in real life. Yeah. That's my movie, that's my movie question. And then they would laugh at it, I assume? At they... it, yeah, the kid. <laughs> I guess so, yeah, I assume that they So must... you are answering all the questions? <laughs> okay, I, yeah, I'll take them all. <laughs> I got another question. All right, go ahead, what do you have? How come in Raiders of the Lost Ark, all the stuff that happened would have happened without Indiana Jones? <laughs> just stuff just happens. He's just there. <laughs> At the end of the movie, he's tied to a pole. <laughs> the, the least climactic climax of, in movie history. Well, it's just God's wrath. He's not doing anything. <laughs> all he did was murder a bunch of people. I've got an Indiana Jones-related rhetorical question. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Do you think that when Adolf Hitler signs the Grail Diary, it increases or decreases the value? <laughs> All right, that's our 